In this quick lesson, I'm going to show you how to use the Mask tab in the Bitmap and Image Tools of the Design Center. Now, a mask is basically a transparent section of an image. So if I click on this image here and I turn the mask off, you can see what you would normally see. But when there is a mask, you can't see that background because it's been masked out. So I can check that back on and you can see now it's transparent. I can also invert the mask. So I make the center of the image, the, the part that wasn't masked out, the actual mask and I can turn that on and off. If I bring up the mask editor and then clear the mask that's currently there I can use these mask tools like the paintbrush here or the magic brush to create my own mask. Now this whole module has a very detailed help file and it also has help topics in the uh, manual so I recommend you watch those um, and click this video when you're ready to watch the lesson on this particular module. There's a lot of tools and features in the mask editor. So that's how we create or how we um, we display and hide a mask and invert a mask and actually access the mask editor. Now I'll talk about opacity. Now what I'm going to do is just go to this page here where I've just prepared a background image and a foreground image. I mean, excuse what I've done here, it's just a, an example. Let's say we want to put this eagle over the top of this background image. But obviously we don't want to have it so that you can't see through the eagle. So what we do is we select it like so and we actually set its opacity by clicking on this slider like so and I can set it and as you can see now it's sort of transparent or semi-transparent I can see through a bit of it and I can adjust that right back and make it very subtle or I can make it more opaque like that so that's what opacity does now opacity applies to um, objects as well not just images but when you want to create like a decoupage or a, uh, a special effect opacity is a fantastic tool for this because you can blend images together similar to opacity is transparency color you can see the background of this page is yellow and I may want to set a colour within this image to be the transparency colour. So I've selected this sort of burgundy colour which is roughly the colour of these petals here. And as I increase this you can see what happens. That colour becomes more and more transparent as I increase the range there. So it's actually um, taking more colours and making them more transparent. So by using these tools and opacity together you can really create some quite amazing effects and it just comes down to your imagination the sorts of things you can do um, it really is amazing and you can see that that area that's, that looks white at the moment is actually transparent that's completely see-through as I move it around you can see it under the or the yellow underneath it moving around so that's how transparent colour works very handy tool to know about okay let's talk about vectorizing the mask in other words tracing it now you might use this for contour cutting or creating a, uh, a node uh, or an editable area. You can see here I might want to trace this mask here to create an outline. So I click Trace Mask and it basically goes through the vectorizer comes up and I click Trace and it actually creates a contour line around the mask, the area that we've masked off. And you can see it here. If I go on wireframe you can see what it's done. It's created a curve around the masked area and that can be used for any number of purposes. I can extract this, move it around, and as you can see there's the curve and I can work with that curve, I can do anything with it I want. Um, obviously I can delete, uh, delete the curve and I can also trim it which basically uh, removes any excess area as you can see here so it just leaves me with this internal section like so. So that's how the vectorizing of the mask works and uh, how all those tools work together. As I say, if you, um, if you experiment with the mask and the uh, transparency range and the, uh, the opacity, you'll get some fantastic effects. And that's the end of this lesson. Thank you.